In this lesson, we're going to be looking at some mathematical functions, three in particular, round down, round up, and sum if. I've got a workbook open with some data in it for, for nine weeks with a total at the bottom. You should already be aware of round, and I'm only including it here to give some understanding for using round down and round up. So again, I'm going to be typing my functions, but of course you can use the insert function tool. So a function always starts with the equal sign. We're going to use the round function and then open brackets. Now what round does, it rounds the number to a certain number of decimal places. So once I've got my tip, my screen tip available, it's popped up and told me that the first thing inside the brackets, the first argument, has got to be the number that I want to use. Well, in this instance, I want to use this total. So I can actually, rather than typing a number in, use that cell reference. Now I can type in B11, or I can simply click on the cell and it inserts B11 for me. Looking back at my tip, what's next? A comma. So I'm going to put a comma in. And then the next thing is the number of digits. This is how many digits um, do we want to have that are displayed. This can be a little bit tricky to explain, so if I just bring up the help for this, it helps me uh, to show what this means. If I put in a number more than zero for this, so a number of decimal places, one, two, or three, then the number is rounded to that specified number of decimal places. If I put in zero, then it will just round it to the nearest whole number, the nearest integer. And if I put in a number less than zero, minus one for example, then the number is rounded to the left of the decimal point. So that will allow you to go to the nearest 10 or the nearest 100. I'm going to keep things nice and simple. I just want to display this to the nearest integer, so no decimal places at all. Close my brackets, press the enter key or the green tick, and there's my total. It's taken this number and rounded it to the nearest whole number. You know it's gone up from 1.97 to 2. The rule there is that when you are rounding, anything 5 or above goes up to the next number. Anything below 5 goes down. So I can show how that works. If I change this number, 0.4, then this will be rounded down to 591. Yep, and change it. To a 5 because it's 5 or above, it'll be rounded up to 592. Yes, 592. Because of our explanation about going up and going down, that gives some light as to what we use round down and round up for. Round down will always round down to the previous number, regardless of whether it's 5 or above. Round up will always round up to the next number. Equals round down, open brackets, get my nice screen tip here. Which number do I want to use? B11. How many decimal places do I want to use? Again, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to get, say, zero. Don't want any number of decimal places. And let's see what that gives us. It should be rounding it down to 52,591. Even though that number is 0.5, it should be rounded up. Round down forces it to come down. Round up then will be just exactly the same method. We'll put B11 in there and zero decimal places. Only this time it's going to be rounded up. So this number is going to be 52,592. Yep, 52,592. Just made one or two small changes to this worksheet so we can look at some if. So I've still got my data, that is the sales for weeks one to nine. And I've just clicked in there to say whether or not it's above or below target. We know how to use a simple sum that adds up a range of cells. It's adding up that range of cells. What sum if does will add up the range of cells, but it'll only add each cell provided it meets a certain criteria, sum if. So we'll look at this to see what is the value of these sales that are over 3,000. So I'm only going to add up those that are over 3,000. Equals sum if 
because that's the function we're using. Open brackets as always, and we've got our screen tip. The range is the range of cells we want to evaluate to see if they meet the criteria. Now, this may or may not be the same as the ones that you want to add up. In this instance, it is. So we want to evaluate these numbers. So that's the range I'm putting in because we want to evaluate those numbers, comma, to see if they match this criteria. And the criteria is, now we've got to put this in quotation marks as though it was text. So we open the quotation marks. Greater than 3,000. Close the quotation marks. That's my criteria. So the next thing's a comma. Now, because some range is in brackets, it means we don't have to include it. It's optional. But what it is, is the range of numbers that you want to add up. If it is the same range as the ones you've already got selected that we're evaluating, then we don't need to use it. In this in instance, it is. So I don't actually need my comma. I can remove that comma and close my brackets. So what we're doing there then is looking at the cell range B2 to B10. And if each, each one of those numbers is more than 3000, we'll add it up. Let's see what happens. Now we have got a value which is less than the total for it all. There's 55,000 worth that are more than 3000. Now, even though I know that is right, I always like to check things, um, especially in the kind of training environment. So a great tip for you is if you want to check that, we can, because there's only a few numbers, we can do it manually. We can look at these numbers and add them up. But rather than doing that, let the spreadsheet do it for you. If you select each cell using the control key and have each cell selected that's more than the 3,000, not that one, not that one, not that one that one in the status bar it gives us the total of the cells that we've got selected 55,796 the same as our function gives us it's a really useful feature and it isn't always a total you can change it by right clicking to give any one of these calculations so what we're going to do now is look at these values determine if it says yes it is above target and if it is we're going to add up those numbers that are associated with it evaluate that is it yes if it is add up that number so we'll use the function palette this time so we click on insert function find our sum if function click on ok What is the cell range we want to evaluate? Not calculate, evaluate. So let's collapse that down. These are the cells we want to evaluate to see whether they equal yes or not. So we've selected those cells and when I've got them selected, it puts the cell range into this dialog box. Expand that back up. What is the criteria? I want to know if that cell is equal to yes. If it's equal to yes, what cells do I want to add up? The cells to sum. So I'll collapse down this. These are the cells that I want to sum. And then OK. So we can see our function there. Sum if. Look at the cell range F2 to F10. That's these ones. If the cell is equal to yes, then add up the corresponding number in the B column, B2 to B10. So we can see we've got 34,000 that are above target. And we can check that. We can just click on all those yes ones. Yep, 34,000. So that's some if.